Done. Confirmed. Nasha Tanya Shade confirmed. Done. Nobody can argue with me anymore. Nobody can argue. I've been saying it from the jump. It's confirmed. I'm going to spit the facts right now. I'm going to theory craft heavy. And you're going to find it. There's nobody that's going to leave this video not convinced that Nasha Tanya's a traitor. Okay? That ending, dude. Are you kidding me? She's like, Goldolf, look at the seal. Look at, look at the seal. Tell me if Adlet's okay. It's that smile on her face, dude. This bitch is so shady. And that's the thing. When it's confirmed, when we get the official reveal and I see that persona switch, and she just turns out to be this psycho yandere fiend, I'm gonna love this girl. I'm gonna love her. Right now, Flemmy's best girl. Just hands down. Flemmy's best girl. Hans's best boy. It's just done. But I'm gonna love Nasha Tanya almost as much as Flemmy. One, the confirmation is that because she's like, she's smiling, she's like, he's working hard, isn't he? It's almost it's that Kakadori, like, all according to plan kind of mentality, like, straight up, I get those vibes. I've gotten the vibes from her heavy ever since episode three or two or three, I believe, when I first said it, where I was like, that facade, that kind of, she's, she's playing everybody right now. And time and time again, let's go through the facts, let's the com get the confirmation. Then at the end of half of this video, I'm going to talk about what we got this episode, just more broadly, you know, that Flemmy x Adlet building up in the background. Chamo getting wrecked, which, that fight was beast, dude. I'm not going to lie, but seeing Chamo, like, tied up like that was amazing. But right now, I just want to focus on the Nashitania shade, right? This episode, coupled with last week's episode, I don't want to talk too much about the facts of last week's episode, but it was an awesome episode. Coupled with that, completely exonerates Hans, just in case anybody felt like Hans was going to be the seventh. I, I never believed for a second Hans would be the seventh, just because that would have been too obvious of a choice, right? It's not Hans. We're not discounting Adlet here, and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna tell you why in a second because there's there's a lot of reasons. My my theory, I feel like there's no way to discount it at this point. Okay. It's not Flemmy. We know my best girl Flemmy is not the seventh brave. It's not Chamo. Ba solely based off Chamo's sadistic reaction and trying to kill Hans and Adlet. It's not Chamo. Han Chamo is just trying to have some fun out here. Chamo wants to go kill the demon god by the, the demon lord by himself. That doesn't give a fuck. The only people left are Goldoff, Nashitanya, Mora, and Adlet. Okay? That in and of itself. That in and of itself. I still don't trust Mora. I still don't completely trust Mora. She's too keen on tracking down Adlet no matter what. But that's just the, the sense, the fact that Chamo's like, it can't be Mora Obasan. Plus, the fact that she's just this, right? The, the very interaction she had with Flemmy. For the very fact that she didn't try and kill Flemmy off while they were separated from the rest of the group makes me, you know, I'm, I'm not, Mora's my second choice, but I doubt it's Mora, okay? I seriously doubt it's Mora. Goldoff. We, we get the confirmation that the man was just salty and jealous of, over Adlet. The princess calls him out on it. Nashitania says it to him, okay? It's not my man, Goldoff. So all you're left with is Adlet and fucking Nashitania at this point, right? And Adlet himself narrows it down to the people that found out about the barrier and who actually knew about it at the time. And he points out this episode with this whole theory that Lauren was the, the, the dude that the checkpoint was the one that told her. First piece of evidence from this episode that confirms with beyond a shadow doubt that it's Nasha Tanya. Who has the influence to influence this guard on the post like that? Fucking Nasha Tanya, dude. Telling them that feeding him lies and trying to manipulate the whole crew like that. And then we gotta tie that into what happened last episode. What happened in episode four, I believe it was, when the seal was actually activated. But I'll get there in a second, right? Then between that and the dialogue with with Adela and Flemmy, it basically discounts the fact that the barrier. There, there was a separate barrier, and they're trying to figure out how the fog was activated. But the very fact that the barrier wasn't activated, that piece of information is key. That the barrier, for a fact, in Adlet's mind, was not activated when he first entered that room. It was activated at some point. You see that flash back to episode 4 where everybody's getting questioned, and they stand at the hill. And if you think back to episode 4, when Najatani was the first one to run into that room and was like, Adlet, why did you activate the barrier? I went back and looked at the dialogue. That whole scene, okay? Why did you activate the barrier? Led everybody in that situation to the mindset that they were trapped. Then she's the first one to climb up to the altar. And though Goldoff tries removing the sword first and Adlet slits his hand and tries to do the Sage of Salt shit, 
she still commandeers it, starts going berserk, you guys remember this, slashing the sword around like crazy, she breaks the tablet, scatters the, 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 the this piece of paper or whatever, and says some crazy dog about I'll be the mistress of the barrier, and everything like that. That was the moment the barrier, the seal was actually activated. By whom? Nashatanya. I don't know what kind of twisted, sick, yandere love she has for Adlet, where she's using him as this, as this piece, and going up, moving, playing him all according to her whim, but at the same time, she seems to genuinely care about the man. But all I know is the shade has been on this bitch from the beginning. Every episode, I've called it out. People still try and argue with me and be like, no, it's not Nashatanya. Well, the, while the vast majority has been in line with me with it, but there were so many different ways in theory crafting and seeing these hints that we knew it could be Nashitani. Even from the very fact that she's the Sage of Swords and the sword was the main key to activating the barrier. But I digress. The barrier aside, there's too much shade on this bitch for it not to be hurt. I don't know what she's trying to do, manipulating gold off. But here's the thing. Somebody could try and, and discount. And I looked at the seals. Everybody, I looked at everybody's, you know seal and everything like that they're all pretty much the same they're, they're they're identical there's no reverse or some crazy shit like that going on the very fact that she asked gold off to check her seal and 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 to her that confirms that Alice alive and everything that must mean it's a legitimate seal so then you, then you guys can be like yo son what what about that what if she was the seventh brave if she was the fake why does why would her seal work given what Mora said to Hans a couple episodes back she's using Adlet right so Adlet I remember how I had my second favorite theory, aside from it just being Nashitani straight out as a traitor, was Adlet subconsciously being manipulated on some Favaro shit from Shingeki no Bahama, and just, you know, he was ultimately supposed to become Demon God somehow. What if Nashitani made Adlet the fake brave? So his seal is fake, but since he, you know, legitimately is not, he always wanted to be brave, he's not harboring any traitorous intentions, he's not, he's clearly Nashitani with the shade, the backstory, the whole setup, all the facts that I point out, if you want to hear more about the different theory crafting ports, you know, portions that I did on Nashitani in the past, go back and watch my old reviews, but she could have easily put the fake seal on him somehow, and that making him the seventh brave, uh, brave unbeknownst to him, so his seal is false, but he just doesn't know about it. That's even more dangerous, dude. Either way, it's fucking Nashatani and that ending dialogue confirmed, no matter what you want to say, with the very fact that we now know that the seal could have potentially been activated after the fact like that, and Adlet advances the theory and also comes to the table with a piece of knowledge that, you know, only these people knew about the seal, which I knew to begin with, and we the, that the, the dude Lauren could have been lying to them. Who manipulated that man? Fucking Nashatani, dude. It's not Goldov, because Goldov's just... Goldov's loyal to Nashatani. He's not... He's salty. He could know about it, but I seriously doubt he knows about it, given their dialogue. She's shady as fuck. She's manipulating everybody. It's entirely a facade, and yet she does have some twisted warped love for Adlet. So I... I love... I, I love Nashatani. If my theories are correct, I fucking love Nashatani as fucked up as she is. But Flemmy's still best girl. That Adla ex Flemmy, she's like, I think I can believe you. She she puts away the bullet, dude. After the whole thing, I'm just like, yo. And Hans has it in the man's mind, like, yo, you. She hates you from the bottom of her heart. But seeing that bond is gonna be some bond between the fiends and the humans and everything like that. And and when I and the only thing I remember last episode, I believe, was when Mar was with Flemmy. I was thinking for a second, based on that dialogue and how she was trying to convince Flemmy, that what if Mara was the second? I'm still not going to get rid of Mara. Like, Mara's my third favorite theory. It goes Najatania, Adlet, then Mara. Adlet being manipulated by Najatania and being the seventh at this point is, is how it is. That's just, that's just how, what I believe. But before, I was like, what if it was Flemmy's mother? And then what, Flemmy's mother was manipulating Mara. They were in league or something like that. But... I guess none of that matters anymore because the shade on Nashitani has been confirmed as far as I'm concerned. Nobody spoil for me, please. I've, I've avoided the light novels up to this point because I want the ride to be complete. But if anybody can discount based on theory crafting my Nashitani theories, please have at it. Let's go. I, I'd love to see that. But anyway, that's it. I'm out. Peace.